underscore P yo what is going on baby it is Mira it is Shira it is Vivra it is Scorpion Reds Tarot I am back at again one time for the one time we in this bitch for the new year yes indeed this is 2020 show me the money with milk and honey energy baby yes indeed all through the year 2020 so shout out to all my ogs shout out to all my newbies all my new babies thank you so much for showing love and light to me in all 2019 and we're going to show out and show up in 2020 yes indeed this show me the money energy this year honey people gonna to have to show us their worth this time around honey yes because we are patient and we are determined towards our blessings yes to god so listen if you would like to uh, like, share, and subscribe. That would be awesome if these videos resonate. And if you want to send some love and support to the page, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, my Cash App, my booking page, all of that information. If you want to um, connect with me on Instagram, if you have any questions about anything, or if there's something that's going on that comes out in a reading and you don't feel comfortable with um, putting a comment down in the comment section, if you want to message me personally and privately you can always send me a message on instagram or on my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so we're going to say a quick prayer over the energy today and we're going to get into this to see what energy we got surrounding my lovely scorpios for january 2020 all right show me the money season Father God, thank you so much for blessing us. Thank you so much for uplifting us. Thank you so much for gifting us with wisdom, with self-love, with clarity, with determination, and just drive and vigor. Um, we've planted a lot of very, very precious seeds um, in the soil. We've been fertilizing it. We've been praying over it. We've been giving it room for it to grow. But at the same time, you know, being very delicate with it and, you know, watching it. Um, but without, because, you know, people don't understand when you hover over top of your blessings, like watching it grow, like standing over it, hovering it, trying to watch it grow. It'll never grow. You know what I'm saying? You got to plant the seed, water it, give it some sunlight give it some love and step away and come back to it and you'll be amazed at how quick it grow just knowing in your heart that that seed has been planted and it's developing roots <laughs> you know what i'm saying it ain't meant for you to see the sprouting yet it's developing roots you know so it's about just understanding that's how blessings grow a lot of things is not going to be seen at this moment. and um, But that's making it stronger. That's making the foundation of it stronger. So I thank you so much for just teaching us that, Father God. Because a lot of people don't know that. And a lot of people plant seeds and it's like, I want it right now. And they get all, you know what I'm saying? And they end up blocking their blessings. Or they're too busy hovering over it where they're not allowing it to breathe. Because they're breathing over top of it. Because <laughs> if you're hovering over your blessings like that, then that means that you really... Have some level of doubt. It's either that or you too excited. And you don't want to miss a moment. But the moment going to miss you. If you don't understand. You got to let your blessings breathe. And grow. And root. So Father God. Thank you so much for that guidance. Um, give us guidance for January. Thank you so much for all of the blessings in the past, present, and future. Continue to cover us with your love and your warmth. And your warmth. Thank you again. Amen. All right. My phone, like, okay, bitch, you was like, you was so long winded with that prayer, but honey, I was feeling it. I was like, Burr! okay, girl, shut up. <laughs> like, okay, Reds, okay, girl, we get you. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we got. Oh, the God give us guidance for my Scorpio for January 2020. Let's see what type of archetype energy. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Thank you guys so much for all of the um, donations and the love and stuff that you guys have given through the Amazon wish list throughout 19. Um, today we're going to be using the archetypes uh, oracle deck. 
that was sent to us through the Amazon wish list by you guys. And then this was also sent by one of my babies um, for my birthday. And I got this the first week that it came out. And I was like literally in tears when that came because I really, really wanted that deck. So thank you guys so much. Hold on, let me plug in. There we go. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got the vault line. We got the prayer, the village, and then the animal. Oh, okay, okay. What's under this? And then you got the king at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So, with this vault line here, man, I, I man, what I'm getting here. It's like you're on one side and they're on the other. You're on one side and they're on the other. I feel like if there was... And it's so dry. I feel like this area... It's not... This village is not meant to be dry. I feel like they need it needs a king. Remember the king is at the bottom of the deck. And look at this. This is someone looking like they're picking up a crown. This is the king at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like I feel like this king is approaching. This is some this is something that you've been praying for. Or this person has been praying for you. You guys have been following your animal instincts like seriously. Your both you and your counterpart the one that you're truly meant to be with. Both of you guys have been going through tribulations in life to bring you guys here to this vault line where you guys are going to finally look at each other you guys are finally going to look at each other look at all of this dryness in this cracked environment on your side look at the same dryness and cracked environment on his side so if you guys can if you have libra at all in your chart i do i'm a um I have Libra, I'm a Libra in Mercury or something. I have no idea what the hell that means. If y'all know what the hell, I'm going to look it up. I'm definitely going to look up what the heck Mercury means. Because I know what's up here on this chart somewhere. But I have Libra in Mercury. So if you have any type of Libra in your chart, go and watch the Libra reading. Because that reading was very inspirational. Especially if you guys had really triumphed over any type of obstacles that you were going through last year and you really really feel like you're standing in your divine energy and that you're on a voyage and that you're on a journey please watch the leap of reading because it is very 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 inspirational um and that's the kind of energy that i'm getting here that is the kind of thing because you see this the village with the with the with the mountains in the background, but you see all this beautiful color, these orange and the 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 yellow lights, and you know what I'm getting here is that whatever obstacles that you overcome, like God planted a part of the seed, like this God moved a mountain for you. Or gave you the strength for you to climb that mountain and come down the other side. Do you understand? And that might be what y'all have to do. To get to this king. Or maybe that's what this king has to do to get to you. I feel like both of you guys have been praying for each other. Both of you guys have been praying for each other. And y'all's animal instincts is going to lead y'all to this village. To a village. I don't feel like it's your hometown or their hometown. Or it might be both of y'all's hometown. But it's going to meet you to a certain place within this village where the energies are going to meet. And your animal instincts is going to lead you there and y'all are going to place eyes on each other. This bolt line, I feel like the same trials and tribulation that you've experienced in your life, this person has experienced a great deal of the same thing but just in a different way. You know, like... If you if, if, if one of y'all grew up with a, a, a father that was an alcoholic, then for the other person, their mother was an alcoholic. So they understand exactly what 
it is of what frustrations you go through with some type of family issues like if you might have had made some mistakes in your in your relationships like this person can relate because they've made mistakes in their relationship where they've learned and like maybe right now in both of y'all's in life and environment both of y'all's life is kind of dry right now you know it needs moisture it needs love it needs that emotional fulfillment you know i don't feel like it's there until you guys lay eyes on each other like both of you guys are going to be traveling trying to reach the other sides and then y'all going to get to this vault point and going to be like well i'm trying to get over there well i'm trying to get over there but once y'all eyes lock on each other i don't think that you guys are going to be thinking too much about going to the other side of them this person going to the other side i it's 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 going to be an emotional flood that is going to pour and it's going to bring moisture. It's going to be water. It's going to bring life. There is no life here because there's no emotional pour. You know, there's nothing, you know, I feel like there's like some level of like dead emotion between the two of these people and that's what the prayer is for and if you look at this this is someone reaching their hand out of some grass like they're like being reborn or something being brought to life from the dead or something like that and that's what i'm getting it's like i need new life i need something to live for i need something that's going to make my heart beat i need purpose the crown the king, the village, the animal. And what is this under here? Oh, child, we ain't reading all of that because I ain't got nothing to do with this read. And sure down. Sure the hell down. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm curious. What is this? Medallion. The king. And the medallion. It's like a medal. It's like the prize. It's like the gift. Like, I feel like this is the gift that is being sent to you. This king. This king. This medallion. It's like, this one is being, is like the winner. This one is the winner. This one is the winner. This one is the king. Like, whatever you experienced before, it was just a, it was just one of the cracks in these many lessons that you were meant to learn before you reached here. This is the one. This is the winner. You know what I'm saying? This is the one that instinctually you will know without a shadow of a doubt in your mind that everything that you ever went through in your life was to kind of bring you here. And that's the one. That's the winner. That's the gold. That's the golden ticket. That's the winner. Clarify this for my Scorpios for January. Fault line the prayer. The Emperor. Oh my God. Yes. Scorpio girlfriend. Yes. Papi Chulo. Didn't I tell you the fault line? Look at this shit. You on one side and they on the other. Do you see this? Do y'all see this? Do y'all in my yo? Cause sometimes I trip my fucking self out when I be reading, young. What the fuck? How is that not so obvious? I told you guys a long time ago, except I think it was in the Divine Feminine readings when I used to do those. And I will be doing Divine Feminine reading tomorrow. Hello. Okay. Hello, motherfucker. Okay, listen. I told y'all a long time ago. That shit that y'all were dealing with in the past, that past heartbreak or whatever it was that awakened you to this journey. Do you understand? Of self-love. You know? Of true love. Of harmony. All of those cracks that you experienced. This person went through the same fucking things. And the reason why it's been taking so long for the real, true love to come into your life... The same battles that you've been going through, still thinking about the ex, still doing this, and blah, 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 blah. This person had to go through the same shit and overcome the same goddamn thing that you were going through. And right now, we had to go through these dry phases because God had to show us, you got to be 
whole. You got to be in faith. You got to be patient. Even through your dry phases because you got to know the flood is going to overpour. Get ready for overflow. In an area that eventually, you know, it looked like a, a, a desert now, but eventually it's going to be an ocean. And you never knew that that fault line was there because it's going to be so much emotion. It's going to be so much love. It's going to be so much passion. But at the end of the day, both of you and your true counterpart had to get to the end of their road. It honestly had to go through a season where they were still passionate, still in faith, still walking forward in belief. Even when it was dry and desert is, you know, still walking towards that belief. And then you guys meet each other. And then the floodgates are going to overpour. This is the emperor. The emperor is a committed man, a committed father, a committed, uh, 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 a leader. Um, you know, like this, this is the person that takes responsibility you know that's a very stand up individual that not only leads and protects and provides but honors his position honors his roles he doesn't just take care of his wife and his family the other children in the neighborhood and the other people that look up to him like he has an obligation to the community it's not just you know his family is one Peace of this community and I want my family to be a pillar of what a vision of success is so that other people can see us in this peaceful harmony and, 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 and it could be a contagious vibration that spreads amongst my whole community I want to be a part of that like I want to be the leader I want to be the representation of what a good father and what a healthy happy relationship of what a man is that's what an emperor is you understand and for whatever reasons, you understand? We're not going to go into what he went through to get to this. Thing. But this person, the same bullshit that we were going through, dating fucked up people, sacrificing our time and our energy to bullshit, blah, 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 blah. Duh, 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 duh. This person went through his dog stage. You understand? He went through that. But he matured and he grew up. And now this one is literally ready to bridge that gap. And, you know... To create a family with someone where they are ready and willing to take that responsibility. They are eager. They are excited. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that's really willing to step up to the role. <laughs> the emperor. Woo! And look, the sun is shining right between that gap, baby. Ooh, honey, give me more guidance about this emperor father. Oh, okay, what is this? What is this here? This is the wheel of fortune. This is the wheel of fortune. Let me try to tell you something. The wheel of fortune. Now, I, now it did come out in the reverse. It did. When it fell on the floor, it came out in the reverse. So, I'm going to read it to you like this. Um, I feel like, number one, and then they go that dryness again. They go to desert. They go to desert. We both, the Scorpio... And the person that is coming into the Scorpio's life, I feel like this emperor has been at the lowest and has literally, that's why it's all this desert shit. It's this, this desert, it's dry, it's dry, it's dry. Like this person has been at the lowest. This person has been through a phase where there really was no balance. And as you can see, the um, karmic scales. So, this person is having to go through this dry spell. Do you understand? Um, literally to learn how to use their sword. How to be truthful. How to be honorable. Truly how to be that emperor. And I feel like a lot of their karmic slate is still being balanced. And that's causing the delay. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's causing the delay. Because I feel like this person is still venturing through their journey. It's still going through um, 
you're still going through some things right right now where they're having to experience a a, a personal downfall um but this personal downfall right now is literally helping them clean their karmic slate do you understand what i'm saying because the wheel of fortune doesn't stop turning for nobody if you're at the bottom and ain't no way to go but up do you understand what I'm saying? And what come, goes up sometimes can go down. We all have our good times and our bad times in life. You know? Because I can, man, even in my personal life, man, I have my seasons. It could be a good couple of years where I'm just financially rolling. Like, I'm doing real, real good, real, real successful. But then, like, hard times will come. You know? And if things ain't flowing the way that they were, and it can feel like they're going through an unfortunate situation, but it's to teach you patience, it's to teach you growth, you know? It's to teach you how to survive even when you feel like there's nothing there. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I mean, really. It's just a lot of dry. And then the Wheel of Fortune is going into the justice. So this person could necessarily be dealing with something in like um, the justice system or something like that. I feel like this might be something in regards to like some type of child support or um, I feel like it has to do with some type of child support or divorce or something where they're feeling like they're getting the tail end of the stick maybe because of a, a karmic payout it's like a karmic debt you understand where this person is feeling like they're unfortunately getting the short end of the stick um and that's why i feel like this person can stand up now with this emperor energy because whatever they experienced here with them being on this wheel um it it taught them about karmic justice and what goes up must come down. So whatever you did in the past, you will pay for in the future and or eventually. So this person is cleaning their karmic slate right now and dealing with um, the right side of justice that might not necessarily uh, turn out very right for them. But they know that that is what they, you know what I'm saying? They responsible the emperor it's like right now like i might be going through a drive of patch of my time but i'm i'm stepping up for my responsibilities like you know like this was my wife i have to she's accustomed to a certain lifestyle i gotta help her until she get on her feet or you know like whatever you know what i'm saying because this could be someone that don't have no children that's having to pay, pay alimony or something like that and it's like even though they don't want to but at the same time i'm i'm a man you know what i'm saying I'm going to step up for my my shit. It's just my shit is a little dry right now because I gotta handle I gotta handle some shit from my past. Basically, what is this? The Seven of Cups. So if you look at this Seven of Cups right there, and um, if you look at the Seven of Cups right there, you see this diamond rose that's growing out of the ground, right? And you see that the light is shining off of it, and it's and it's shimmering and all of that stuff like that but it looks like someone is kind of getting caught up and like on a run from something you know what i'm saying the seven of cups represents confusions um uh how do i want to say this like someone like being overrun by an emotional illusion like falling victim to a fantasy or something like that or just having a lot of options to select from do you understand but i don't see any cups there at all <laughs> like i don't see any cups there at all. i see someone running you know what i'm saying so this is the seven of cups going into the eight of cups and you know that the eight of cups is someone that is leaving everything behind so this is a moment in this person's life where they realize that, listen, the reason why I'm going through having to experience this karmic debt right now and having to pay for this karmic debt and things are dry in my life right now because at a point in time in my life, I had many options, things that look good, that wasn't so good, that could have necessarily got me in a lot of trouble. And now I'm having to step up and 
pay for some of these things right now or address them. I got to be a man. That's cool. But at the same time, being a man is not necessarily um, allowing yourself to be emotionally manipulated by the glitz and glamour of things. And being able to look at it and say, you know what, that's nice, but I know that you're a little bit more troubled than what I'm ready to deal with. Fuck walking away. How about I run? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like... Um, not getting caught up in the fantasy and the illusion of having multiple people, multiple options, or a whole bunch of selections. Because, you know, every motherfucking thing that glitters ain't motherfucking gold. And for what it's looking like to me, I feel like this person might have previously picked up a pot with a pretty rose in it like that. And it... Like, bought them some level of bad luck or something like that. So, they know better this time. Like, as soon as they picked that pot up and they took the lid off it and they seen that shining uh, little rose and everything, they dropped that motherfucker and said, oh, hell no, nah, motherfucker. Because <laughs> last time I did that shit, I ended up right here. You understand what I'm saying? It's still, look, it's the desert is dry. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like this person, I feel like, might have many options, but they're not, they're not easily persuaded by the illusion anymore. They can tell, they can tell when something look good, but ain't good for them. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to not walk, but run. Do you understand the moon? This is their intuition. And if intuition is going into the sun, the moon is going into the sun. So you see how this person is floating, floating. This person is like emotionally and spiritually guided right now. They're floating into a state of happiness. Um, and I want to say that they're even gifting their self that medallion because it's like to be able to not let my emotions and, and illusions and fairy tales that I'm trying to put in my own fucking head and Focusing on worrying about the outcome of, 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 of my blessings. It's just like someone just going with the flow and just like trying to just reach a state of happiness. Just moving forward. You see that that that, that, that ship there, that, that sail? And I, like I ain't even in my boat. I don't hopped out my boat. My boat is relaxing. I'm just like floating in the water. You know what I'm saying? And... Taking a quick swim, a quick float right quick, and then you about to hop on your damn boat. And you about to sail into the future, into happiness, into your new destination, your new birth. Like, the sun represents birth, represents life, represents a new day, represents happiness, you know, joy. You understand? So, whatever... This person experienced in the past. I really do feel like. This person is taking responsibility now. But they're still paying with some karmic debts. From. Them. Having many options and many selections in the past. And they had to learn that. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Let me walk away. And just allow my intuition to lead my vessel towards happiness. And like this is someone like. This man that hopped out their boat. He just wanted to take a swim. And just wanted to bask in the sun. And in the water. This person didn't even trip about their boat. Just drifting off without. Like this person know that their boat ain't going nowhere. Like this is some level of some serious confidence. Insecurity. What is this? The seven of wands in the reverse. It's like I don't have to fight no more. Like, I ran away from the circus. Like, I got away from the circus. You know what I'm saying? I might still be having to pay for some of the mistakes that I made in the past. But I really I feel like the hard times is over. Like, even with this wheel in a, a, a fortune being in the, in the reverse, it's like, but I'm taking responsibility and I'm paying for it. So, it's like, I don't even really feel, other than their situation just being dry right now and them just... Learning lessons of how to walk away. You know what I'm saying? Look, the king of swords. 
the king of swords being a king of like honor of truth of integrity of principle of dignity this is what some scorpion male had to go through or this is what the man that's coming to the scorpion female is going through how, learning how to be an emperor learning how to be emperor knowing the mistakes that you've made in the past wanting to be a playboy having all these options and all of that stuff like that yeah falling victim to the illusion you know what i'm saying falling victim to an illusion that's like i'm i'm hearing in my head that girl is poison <laughs> it's like walking up on a situation where you just got all these dimes like trying to holler at you you got have y'all ever had that situation scorpio where you was having like a dry season then all of a sudden like all these people just came trying to holler at you out of nowhere you like what like me you know what i'm saying all y'all people want to holler at me and it was a situation where you could pick and choose and you chose the most glittery shiny the best looking model whatever but it ended up being a lot of trouble it ended up being more trouble than anything that you ever thought <laughs> you could have ever experienced <laughs> so it's like you see that motherfucker now you run like this nigga running like uh-uh hell nah mm -mm. and anytime they see that so like this is like a scorpion male that was messing with one of them bad girls some vixens with you know what i'm saying all that stuff like they thought that they want all of that i want a hot girl hot girl summer yeah, all that hot girl side run. When I see a hot girl now, them motherfuckers ain't nothing but trouble. You know? Ain't nothing but trouble. Falling victim to the illusion. That's what they did. And that's what they had to learn. They don't... They learn from that lesson no more. They learn not to put themselves in the crossfire. They learn not to put themselves in the battle. Because I don't want to have to defend myself. I don't want to have to fight. I don't want to have to argue. I am not... Look, you see... This woman and this man running away from the fucking circus. Listen, they are running. They are whole assing. <laughs> Look at them running. Oh my God! They set. They set the. They set the. They set the thing on fire. Y'all, they set the village on fire, y'all. <laughs> y'all, they set the village on fire, yo. So remember what I'm trying to tell you. The same shit. That you went through is the same shit that they went through. Both of y'all have been praying to for reprieval for a second chance. For a chance to start all, all over. Like the both of you guys right now might be in this emperor energy and take a responsibility for whatever, whatever un karmic debts that they had to pay from shit in the past. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like if some shit happened to you right now, you already know. I might have deserved that because of something that I may, might have said when I was in my low vibrational shit. It's okay. I'll chalk that up. I, I take responsibility because I know I put that negative energy out in the past. Do you understand what I'm saying? So accepting that, acknowledging that, let me get rid of all my negative karmic debts so I can have a clean slate. Because now I fucking know. Ain't. Where that mountain is in that village, now I'm seeing that shit. This might be you picking up your crown and taking the village. Maybe the village that you were in might have took you for granted. And you're picking up your crown right here. Do you understand? And using your animal instincts and saying, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go on my voyage. It's time for me to go on my voyage. I'm in search for my king or... Well, not I'm in search for my king. Don't search for nobody. Let them find you. But it's like, I need a king. You know what I'm saying? I need a king. And whatever foundation that I had here, my instincts is telling me to move on. It's dry. I learned my lessons. When I see people or places or things like you, I run now. My intuition has taught me so much better. I'm in a place where I'm floating. I'm in peace now. I'm in peace. Both you and the person that's coming to you, whatever that was in their past, that they 
were experiencing or were holding on to, they burnt down the memory of it. You see, he done burnt down his old village and you done burnt down yours and both of y'all running. <laughs> y'all done burnt the fucking village down. I don't see success there. I don't see victory there. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to try to make myself fit in in a place where it's nothing but obstacles and confusion. Do you understand what I'm saying? And a lot of it, I created for myself because I got caught up in the illusion, in the fantasy of having so many cups or of having the brightest, the most shimmering, the most beautiful cup. I thought that that was the best for me. But everything that glitters show the fuck ain't gold. And my intuition, I know that now. And I sail forward full of intuition and abundance and happy. Not even knowing that you're going to vastly approach this new person. What is this? The grapes. Satisfaction. Listen. Wine ages and gets finer over time. Do you understand? The longer the, the wine sits, the, the finer and the most expensive it gets. Do you understand? You are reaching a level of satisfaction in your life where literally you are being served the finest of every fruit that you have ever wanted to bear. Do you understand what I'm saying? Visions. Visions. You understand? You guys, I feel like a lot of you guys, I know a lot of a lot of people that I'll be watching the smoke, all my herb smokers, what's up? I feel like you guys have been relaxing. Look at him. He's relaxing. He's relaxing. He's like basically kind of going with the flow of where his intuitions is carrying him. You know what I'm saying? Something said it ain't time to fight no more. Someone said it's time to burn that old village and it's not it's it's not safe to live there no more. Instead of getting caught up in the illusion, it's better to learn from my past and just go. Um, I see through the smoke and mirrors. We got the protection here. We got the protection here. Give me some more guidance and love for Scorpio, please. We got the eyes revealing and then we got the spider weave, okay? So, this is what I'm getting. So, the eyes was in the reverse, right? And the spider was in the upright. So, this is what I am getting here. Um, it's not meant to be revealed to you right now who he or she is, what he or she is doing, where... This person is in the process. I feel like the only thing that you need to know is, is that, um, that God is most definitely weaving together something, you know, uh, what, what is that saying about, um, spider webs? Okay. So let me, let me break this down to you. A spider, the silk that spider. Have you has your face ever get got caught up in a spider silk and a spider web, and you feel like you can't get that shit off of you? Like it's like spider web silk is some of the most like sturdiest and like unbreakable shit ever. Like seriously, that shit is creepy. But listen, anyway, the spider is attracting and traps things in the weave in the web so you know how they say be careful of the webs that we weave right so with this revealing in the reverse in your eyes in this spider weaving and in a lot of ancient um history if you look i believe the native it's either the native american culture or um i believe it's the native american culture they like your spot a spider is like considered an ancestor like if you see a spider they look at a spider as an ancestor and it's like ancestral wisdom because if you see a spider drop down from somewhere think about what you're doing because the spider can very much be giving you like guidance from your spirit guides and from your ancestors to be try to tell you like watch what you're doing watch what you're creating watch what 
what, what, what you're weaving. You understand what I'm saying? So, or it can be a sign of your ancestors. So what this is telling me here, your ancestors are telling you just to continue to use your animal instinct. They hear your prayer. Your shit is dry for a motherfucking reason. This is desertous. This is the desert. There's the desert here. But then the motherfucking... What's right next to the ocean? The ocean. Remember I said that it's dry and it's flat land. But then once you guys... You're going to show up here. This person going to show up here at the same time. And y'all just going to be looking at each other. And then y'all going to be so emotionally driven to get to the other side. Or just to be able to touch each other. And you know... The floodgates is, listen, and, and y'all not going to be worrying about, like, harming yourself to get over there. Y'all going to be able to swim to each other. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's going to be so much emotion. It's not meant for you to see what God and what spirit is creating for you. It's not meant for you to see. It's not meant for you to know fucking everything. Do you understand? It's not meant for you to know anything. Only thing that you need to know is you burnt down your old village and this motherfucker burnt his village down too and both of y'all running and y'all gonna run and bump, bump right into each other. And this one was the one. Do you understand? This one was the medallion holder. This one was the winner. This one is the king. Do you understand? This one. This one. This one is not meant to be revealed to you right now. Do you understand? You continue to understand that the visions that you what you do know and what you do see continue to follow your heart and follow your vision and life is going to bring you many 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 more satisfactions you are protected you are protected and even though things might seem dry right now it's like that for a fucking reason it's for a reason it's not meant to be seen but it's meant to come to you. Because if you knew every step, when, where, how, and who's coming to you, like, come on. How would you ever learn anything? And would you fuck it up for yourself if you knew everything? <laughs> Sometimes you don't know when, where, why things are happening in your life. You just know that God is doing things for a reason. It's leading you to something and somewhere. Then you got the soldier. Then you got... The success card. Come on now. Come on now. You got the king of diamonds. And then you also have. You have the king of diamonds. And then you have the nine, um, ten of clubs. So that means the hard work has paid off. You've reached success. You've been crowned the victor. You understand? All that stuff. Like being the emperor. And saying you know. I know. I have responsibilities for certain things that I created. Have it be good or bad. I'm willing to stand up and bridge the gap and do whatever I need to do. Because I just want shit to get better. I just want shit to get better. You understand? Being responsible like that will lead you to a lot of success. Regardless if it's good or bad. Because I tell people that all the time. Man, if I did something that I did and I know that that shit is wrong. I'm, I, I know how to stand up. And ooh, Thoughts. Thoughts. In the seven of hearts. The seven of hearts is a second chance of love. Recommitting yourself to the thought of loving again. Not only that, like getting yourself dressed up, getting yourself jazzed up, getting yourself ready mentally and opening up yourself to the possibility of wanting to love again. It's like you're starting to have thoughts because it's like you... Our soldier, you're a soldier. This King of Diamonds energy right there. The King of Diamonds is someone that is a leader, that is um, a visionary. Listen, and then you have the visions right there. That's a visionary that is able to um, visualize something and be able to use facts and truth and logic to bring it to fruition. You know, like a scientist, like very logical. Do you understand? able to produce diamonds because they're smart they have integrity they have wit they have courage the soldier you understand a fighter you understand a communicator that's what this is and that's what a lot of you guys want is someone that is able to fucking communicate 
Tell, do you know what you want? Yes. This person knows what they want. They know their value. They know what they want. They know how they feel. They don't have no problem with communicating from to 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 someone. They only speak fact and truth. They only want to be around people that are like minded and have that diamond energy. Like I don't want to be around no liars. I don't want to be around nobody that don't know their worth. If I know my worth, why the fuck would I be around someone that don't know where they want to go in life or who they are or you know like. Do you understand? Soldiers only hang around other soldiers. They don't go hang around civilians. They protect civilians. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a different motherfucking level. It's a different level. That is the emperor's level. Do you understand? Like, I've surpassed being a regular civilian. Like, I, I protect innocent people. And a lot of the emperors, they've gone through phases where they were once the bad guy and they realized that that wasn't necessarily what they wanted to create in their life. You understand? This is someone that, again, I'm telling you, whoever this man is and whoever this woman is, they've been through some shit. They've been through some shit. There's a clean slate because it's dry. What is this? And in the trip to the country... The four of clubs. This means the hard work pays off. This means like um, two people that are able to work in business and to create something successful that has longevity. You know what I'm saying? Like a very, very um, successful business endeavors, business partners are just long standing business goals that are definitely paying off. Just very stable work environment. You know what I'm saying? Like work environment there's a lot of travel there's a lot of uh which is 33 there's a lot of uh self-expression um communication and creativity a very creative business relationship where there's a lot of passion there's a lot of travel there's a lot of creativity so you guys might meet someone Maybe while you're traveling at work or something like that or at work, especially if you guys just changed jobs. Angry woman. What the fuck is this about? The angry woman. That's the queen of diamonds. So you got the king of diamonds and the queen of diamonds. What the fuck is she so angry about? Knocking over chairs and shit. Um, duality. You're angered, but you're going to be surprised. A girl, if you don't get the fuck out of here with this dumb shit. So listen, Scorpio, because... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You've, okay, so listen, this is what I'm getting here, and this is funny and shit, y'all. <laughs> y'all better get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and this is so Scorpio. So listen, what this woman is angry about is because... It's like, no, let's keep it 100, bitch. It's been dry. It's been dry. Dry, dry, dry. And it's like the Scorpio woman is like really fucking tired of this shit. And it's like everybody keeps telling me all this new love and shit is coming to me. Bitch, where? Bitch, where? Bitch, where? It's dry, bitch, where? It's dry, bitch. You understand? I Listen, she know her worth. She know her value. All of that stuff that I just said that the king of diamonds is, she got all that shit. But bitch, where is my dick? I'm sorry. Let's keep it 100. Bitch, where? Okay? Where? Okay? <laughs> Baby. It's a surprise waiting to happen. I keep trying to tell you, Scorpio, God and Spirit is not going to tell you every fucking step that they are making in your behalf. All of the Listen, you don't see the results of the seed sprouting that you planted, but baby, it's rooted. Do you understand? That's why God is making you clean your shit up and this person clean their shit up. So... Both of y'all go through a draft spade, uh, a phase and spell. Cause when y'all uh, um see each other, y'all can tear each other right the fuck on up. Mm hmm Both of y'all had sex in the good me. Y'all gonna tear each other right the fuck on up. Do you understand? There's a 
reason for every goddamn thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you will be surprised that you are going to have that joy, that emotional fulfillment, that emotional success. Do you think that God wants you to see it coming? No, you're not supposed to fucking see it coming. It's going to take you by surprise so that shit can knock you off your fucking feet. Why you think your shit been dry so long? It's going to be splash mountain all over again, bitch. Listen, all right? God has just been giving you some of the money, some of the success. It ain't all meant to just be thrown on you all at one time. Number one, the most important thing that God wanted you to have first is it looks like some type of work security, some type of home security. Clubs represent like good luck, friendships, uh, being sporty, being action oriented, like going to gatherings, networking, money, franchising, success. You don't understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel like God really wanted you to kind of know your worth and, and, and get you out there to be more active a little bit. Do you understand? You know your worth, he know his worth, but you just upset and he <laughs> it's like he's taking responsibility and not allowing himself to be pushed to anger. You're just anger because you don't have anyone to reward with this 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 king, but this person is coming. This person is coming. This person is coming. You got to allow him to get to you cuz you don't want him to get to you. And look, and now that, now that I look at it, look at this village, don't it look like it's going up in flames? <laughs> Listen, don't it look like it's going up in flames? This person is burning down that old village. You don't want this person coming to you with yesterday's news. The thing is, is that women move a little bit faster than men. It may take men a little bit more time than women, but he, he's doing a good job. He's doing a very good job. This second chance is coming to you because God is testing this motherfucker. He, he put one of them little sparkly roses in front of him again to see if he was going to uh, get all confused and shit and grab that joint. He said, oh no, bitch, I already, mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going through what the fuck I'm going through right now because one of y'all motherfuckers, hell no, hell no. Let me use my intuition and float on, float on. Let me float the fuck on and go on to my happiness and shit, okay? So listen, I wait for the emperor. I wait for the goddamn emperor. That's better than the king of fucking uh, cups. That's better than the king of uh, wands. That's better than the king of swords. That's better than the king of pentacles. That's all four of them kings wrapped up in one sexy, bomb ass, delicious ass motherfucker. And that's the one that I want. I want me a grown ass man. A grown ass man that's responsible and tuh, well, you feel protected. And respect it. Listen, come on, y'all. Scorpio, this has been y'all's reading, y'all. Come on. Let me talk. Let me talk the good talk. Good smoke and good wine. Everything gonna be fine. Come on, y'all. Good smoke and good wine. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm about to hear y'all. I love you. Just know that you're gonna be protected. And just know, God don't want you to see it. He wants you to believe it. So that you can receive it. I'm out.